This device claims it can mix an egg inside of its shell, so you can have hard-boiled eggs with no yolk. But how could this work? Normally to mix something you need a baffle inside of the fluid that's spinning and thoroughly mixing everything. But on the inside of this egg it's almost completely liquid and it's very smooth inside with a circular shape. So what could be mixing the egg around? Look how hard I have to try with a fork to thoroughly mix the egg whites and yolks together. Okay, so what you do is just grab an egg and inside of it has this kind of silicone mold that you can hold the egg with. So it's a nice soft place for it to be inside of there. And you close it up and put it on here. And you put it on and watch what happens. like a mini centrifuge in there. Okay, let's see if this is actually mixed now. Now let's boil it and see if the yolk is actually mixing in. And while we're waiting, I wanna thank Vivor for sponsoring this video. They sent me their awesome thermal imaging camera shown here. Look how much wasted heat goes up and around the pan. Looks like it's on fire around the pan, but it's just the heat going up and around it. You can see how easy it is to see the temperature of anything you want. You can use it for HVAC troubleshooting and professional detection of mechanical or electrical systems. It can capture temperatures up to 1022 Fahrenheit, and it even has a video recording function as well. It has four image modes and seven color palettes. You can store your photos from the device on the 64 gigabyte SD card, and you can connect it directly to your computer via USB. It's IP54 rated for protection against water and dust, and it's designed to withstand up to a 6.6 foot drop. This is so cool. This is definitely gonna be used in my arsenal of tools from here on out. If you wanna check out Vivor and get one of these devices for yourself, you can click the link in my description and use this code for 5% off. And also check out Vivor's social media channels to share your projects and participate in their activities to get free gifts. Now let's get back to our experiment. Okay, let's see if this worked. <laughs> Look at that. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> Whoa, it did. The yolk is perfectly mixed in with the white. So you end up with a hard boiled egg that has the same consistency throughout the entire hard boiled egg. It's pretty cool. It's actually pretty good. So surprisingly, it tastes pretty much like egg whites, as if you just took the white portion of the egg and took out the egg yolk. So this is a pretty good way to not end up with wasted yolks if your kids or you don't like eating egg yolks. So all the machine did was spin to mix the egg. But how does spinning mix something? Okay, so I just have some water in a bowl here that I can spin around. Put some pepper in it. Let's see what happens when we take some water here with some dye in it and just spin it slowly. You can see that the water in the center just stays where it was, but then as the edges spin, it drags the water and dye along with it. But eventually all the water gets to the same speed and there's no more swirling pattern. So eventually the momentum diffuses through to the center layer. But now all of the liquid's going the same radial speed. So, so far all I did was make a nice swirl pattern in the liquid, but it didn't really mix in. In fact, with a thicker liquid, you can make the swirl so perfectly laminar flow that if you just reverse the spin, then you get it to unswirl itself, like in this demonstration here. I can swirl all these colors together in corn syrup and then reverse it, and they go right back to where they started. It's like you're unmixing something. The reason this happens is because when you start turning the container, the liquid always sticks to the sides of the container. This is called a non-slip condition which is an important assumption in fluid dynamics. You usually always assume the fluid layer right at the surface of the container has the same velocity as the container itself. And the momentum of the next layer is a little bit different and then the next one's a little bit different as well. So the momentum diffuses through the layers of liquid. And when I say it diffuses, I literally mean it diffuses. You actually use the same exact formulas for the transfer of fluid momentum as you do for mass transfer. So this is fixed law of diffusion that we would use for a chemical diffusing through another chemical. And this is the formula you use for the transfer of momentum. All of this happens in laminar flow, which is very organized. But in order to get good mixing, we need turbulence, which is more chaotic. 
So to get turbulence, we need to do all this spinning, but much faster. Then the laminar flow will turn to turbulent flow. But another key point of how this can mix an egg just by spinning is this right here. Notice that it stops suddenly and then spins the other direction. Now we saw before, if this happens slowly, it just reverses all the swirling. But because it does it so fast, then it turns the flow turbulent inside and eddy currents form inside the egg that thoroughly mix everything together. The reason eddy currents mix so well is because they're chaotic. This is essentially the same thing that happens when you use a mixer or a spoon to mix things together. It makes everything turbulent. So even though there's nothing inside of the eggshell to mix it directly, Whoa. you can still get the same effect by spinning the egg really quickly and then reversing the spin. So it's pretty cool that inside of an egg completely cut off from the outside world, you can get it to mix really well. Now, if you ever try this for yourself, it helps to have the eggs at room temperature when you mix them because the egg whites and the yolk are a really thick fluid. But if you warm them up a little bit to room temperature, then they're not as thick so they can mix a little bit better. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.